Hello, welcome to Venusian Scorp Intuition, and this is the Taurus and the January uh, reading, energy reading. <clears throat> Let me know why I had such a hard time getting that out. Um, so let's see what's going on. Now, this is the third time I'm recording your video, Taurus. Every time I get started and I'm like four or five minutes into it, somebody calls. So your phone could be blowing up this end of the month. Might be in demand for communication. Because as soon as I got to your... I mean, my phone never rings. I'm a Facebook messenger. Contact me through there unless you're my mom. Or, you know, most everybody else I contact through messenger or text. Like, these people are just out, right, calling me. So, you could be receiving calls. And then, so I did the, re the reading twice. The first time I pulled the cards on camera, the second time I kept it and explained to you guys what happened. This third time I just scrapped it and start started over. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna spray for the third time here. <laughs> Little fingers. Holy Spirit of Angels, what messages, what additional messages do you have for Taurus? I'm gonna keep it. What additional messages do you have for Taurus for the end of January? What additional messages do we have for Taurus for the end of January? What additional messages do we have for Taurus? I feel a little tense, a little anxious. You might have a little anxiety. This is, y'all, when I bullshit you not, I want to upload the other video that I had originally because the same cards are coming out this came out i said if it's meant it'll come out again crazy i've been having such a crazy day by myself okay these two didn't jesus this one came out they came out together like this we're gonna keep it that way i mean they didn't come out together this time but they both flipped wow crazy okay so um, overall energy, the magician, so this is a card of manifesting, or it could be manipulation, we're gonna see, but you're making sh happen, Taurus. So, like I explained in the previous reading, this five of, um, this card came out first, and this came out second, and they were, like, together, so I kept them together. So, with this energy, I feel like... Someone is coming out of the battle. You know, like you get out of war and you run to the first person. You know, I mean, not the first person. You know, the first person you love that you see. You run to them like, oh my God, just somebody that I, I just love. Ooh, I'm coming home to you, baby. That's how I kind of see it. This person has a band-aid on their head. They have been the battle. She's just like, I'm here for you, boo. You know, no matter what, I've been, I've waited for you. And then they go off into happiness. Or this brings someone happiness. But someone is manifesting this. And then we have the, now, before I had the Queen of Swords, but this time, in this spot, the uh, Justice card came up. So there could be a Lib Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that you're interacting with, Taurus. <coughs> I'm getting over a cold. I mean, not getting over it. I'm trying to get one, but I'm fighting to not get it. And then we have the um, Six of Swords. Six of Swords... In this situation, even if it's not love, it's somebody that is trying to manifest something and they have been trying to do this for a while, hence this is why I feel like this person has been in a battle. But it's like coming from a battle to your ultimate happiness. As y'all can see, these are very contrasting energies. And I feel like that Five of Pentacles is the past energy, but now you are manifesting something greater. And with the Justice cards, I feel like this is karma weighing things out. And you are going into smoother waters, baby. Smoother waters. And then I was just going to say, I feel like smoother waters of healing. And I forgot all about Y'all see me look down. The star card being here. A cycle is closing. Something is changing. The star card is coming. It's being healed. Now, this card, it's funny to me because you can clearly see that it was three people on his wheel. Now, I'm not going towards love, but... As you can see, it could have been a third party in a relationship, in any type of situation, any type of situation. The third party could be just an extra person. It could be people in your damn business. 
It could be your social media friends. It could be your brother, sister, family, and your damn business. So you see how that person's like, kick the fuck off. Ha ha, bye. And these two people are happy as shit, which is so funny because it's like they, they got this cub and it's like, hey, hey, I feel like these are these two people. And this is that woman he brung it, he brung it in with. He br- bring it on in, baby. And they're celebrating this. Now, the other reading, I had the Three of Cups. That's a third-party energy. The Three of Cups was this, was the overview card. And I feel like it still popped up in some type of way. Somebody could be getting thrown off the wheel. But this, this here is healing. They're coming out from the cold. They manifested this. Karma is balancing this out. You're going from rocky, raging waters to calm. You see how those waters there are like raging? And then those over there, they're more calm. Definitely two different waters there. You're getting out of that topsy-turvy turbulence crap. This. You see like here, it even looks like his head is uh, fixed up. He got a hat on now. He like, baby, we gone. We gonna go get in this and we gonna get out of this turmoil that we have been in. My edge control getting white. Y'all know how that goes. <laughs> it's all white on the side of my face. Please disregard that. But, yeah, this, the, these two people are gone. They're gone. Karma has balanced this out. It's time for this. It's time for healing. It's time for... Uh, any third party situation that may have been in y'all business, uh, this could be a business partnership or whatever the case is, but whatever it is, it's healing. And someone is manifesting this. So I want to, I'm looking for my cards. We're going to put this as the energy card over here. We know that the magician was there. See, like, um, I had an Aries one. As soon as I pulled that off, it was, it could have been someone giving to two. It could have been someone given to two. So let's clarify this five of pentacles. What was this about? I feel like this is past energy because it's like coming out of this. Okay, this five of pentacles could have been about this person went out to find some type of stability. This person is a queen of pentacles is abundant. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person. This is an abundant person. You see how this person sits up. She, her hair is pretty. She got a crown on. She looks like she got good, nice robes, jewelry, rings, big butt pinnacles. I want to clarify her though. That person could be going back to, um, if this is you, you could be going from being wounded to this. Like you might be coming into your power and you manifested this shit. You might be able to give to people. You know, you manifest in this. If it's not love. Let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles here. Why did the Queen of Pentacles show up here? Why did the Queen of Pentacles? But the Five of Pentacles is like unstable energy going into stable and grounded, abundant energy with the Queen of Pentacles. (laughs) So crazy. I said, clarify the Queen of Pentacles deck. We clarified it with the Queen of Swords. All right. So, like I said, this person was going through battle. They might have been fighting, trying to get their coins together. That's what I feel like. They might have been in battle to get their coins together. And karma is weighing things out. Justice is weighing things out. You're leaving from those choppy waters, or it could have been uh, money oriented. Um, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You are going to find abundance and happiness. And then this is another card of like leaving something behind. That's what I feel like. Like you, this leaving something. You leaving all that madness behind. You leaving it. You going into a whole new era, Taurus. That's what I feel. We're going to leave it at that. Let me see. I wanted to. What is this justice card for? I feel like it's weighing up karma. It 
It looked like the Ace of Pentacles, but I don't know. Couldn't really see it, so I wasn't meant to be seen. But believe me, when the tarot deck wants you to see something, you see it. Sorry. None of those flipped over, so. But something is healing, something is taking a turn for the better. I definitely got that vibe. Coming into power. True honesty, stability. <coughs> Leaving from all the anxiety. It's popped up too, y'all. We did in that other reading. Two of Wands, like I said, with the two of uh, things, the three of cups. This could have been like another party. Like somebody's trying to make a choice, weighing up options. They have one, but someone else is offering this stick. So, yeah, um, I told her to clarify justice. And you see, like, this is still a choice as well. But somebody's trying to make a logical choice with justice. Weighing it up. Weighing it up. Four of cups. Could have been a boredom type energy. Somebody could have been taking this slow time, acting uninterested in this. Trying to make a choice, weighing it up, taking a slow ass time, like I said. And then we got this, and somebody might feel like they wanted to leave this. But that wheel is turning, healing is coming, and this is going to be fruitful and abundant. And you manifested this, Taurus. Don't leave it yet. You manifested this. Hold it out. I'm going to pull a regular guidance card. Because somebody's coming in. And they're healing. One more. And a romance oracle if this hits you in a romantic aspect. If not, you can leave it where it is. It's general. But I just want to give insight on both. See, I said hold the out, Taurus. True love. I'm not saying sticking to nothing that's BS because, you know, it's just however I see that it could have been some BS in the before. But this is the romance of a lifetime, baby. Look at her. She's like, oh, my God. And the um, first guidance card is courage. Like I said, you have to stick this out. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Now, this is saying don't be a fool about it. Speak your truth. Stand up for yourself. That's probably what's going to get this wheel to turn in. Like I said, I see the Eight of Cups and this here. And then, you know, like the Four of Cups, somebody could have been bored with this. Like, you know what? Somebody can definitely have it, baby. Bored with this madness. Causing the person to weigh up options and whatnot. Causing the will to turn, healing to come, and happiness. Courage. And stand up for your beliefs. Our next card is Peace, Archangel Samuel. Samuel? Muel? I don't know how to pronounce these things, y'all. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Like, love. This is, I'm trying to get away from it, but it's all love all up and through here. Wow. Courage, peace, true love. So I'm pretty much saying, be at peace with yourself. Have the courage to stand up for yourself. But this is true love, you know? But let this person know what it is. And if this isn't your energy, it could be the other person. Flip, flop it to whoever it fits for. Energy is always moving. It's never, you know, sticking. You know, it could be, I could be picking up their energy instead of yours. So you can reverse the reading if you have to. But yeah, be at peace. Have courage to stand up for yourself because this is true love. They might have just been a knucklehead. But you manifested this towards, or they're manifesting. <coughs> Like I said, this person could have been giving it too. And like I said, it's a lot of like that. Two choices. Weighing things up on the scale. Two choices. Let's see. Yeah. 
could have been a third party situation. Like I said, the first time I definitely got the Three of Cups as the overall energy. That's crazy how this card came back out. This Ten of Cups came back out. So this is the basis of it. These are the two cards that came back out. Which is nutty buddy. Yep. We're going from this, this dame in destruction, to ultimate happiness. Oh, that's your, yeah, that's your energy for the end of the month. So I hope that you enjoyed it. That was juicy, juicy. Uh, I will be getting your February readings out, generals and loves, and I will be doing a twin flame weekly reading uh, for my twin flamers. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thank you for stopping by Benucci and Scorp. Um, I'll try to get the rest of the readings out today. I'm, I'm humping y'all. Bye-bye. Come back now you're here.